Fender Squire produced by Fender for use in the Rock Band 3 Pro Mode for guitar. Is it worth the money that it costs? We're going to talk about that and give you my opinions on it on this episode of Cena's Corner. Cena's Corner. World's number one rhythm game reviewer. What's going on guys? Alright, first of all, beginners, I want to say my apologies. I know you guys haven't seen me in a while. I want to apologize to Harmonix and Fender. This review is way overdue because right when I received the Fender from, from Fender, when Harmonix had to send out to me from Fender, everything that could go wrong went wrong. My computer had issues. I had to carry it into an Apple store. It took them over a week to get it done. My hard drive went. Uh, I had already shot footage of me holding the guitar and talking about a whole lot of the stuff. And even though I use the world's greatest backup system in the world, uh, as far as I'm concerned, called Time Machine, that particular footage and some other stuff got corrupted. But that doesn't stop me. I'm going to bring you the review anyways, and we're going to discuss the Fender and what I think the bottom lines are. I'm going to give you the good and the bad of the guitar. First of all, uh, like I said, I did have the guitar here. I had to get it back to Fender. I had uh, a certain time limit that we can get it, and that's just not for me. There's anybody that got to review this that they shipped it out to. Uh, I like the guitar. It is a real honest-to-God Fender. Uh, they did add a couple of things to it, of course, because it is made for Rock Band 3. So right in the middle of the strings, you do have a string mute. Now, a lot of people are saying that this mute was supposed to be uh, before, so that the it picks up better on the MIDI side of things, and that was not the case. The case with that is so that it dampens the sounds of the strings when you're using it in pro mode, so you don't hear the uh, the actual playing of the guitar. Now, certainly you can play uh, the guitar rock band pro mode without using the mute, but it's just there for convenience of dampening. They also have various MIDI controls on the guitar so that you can jack it directly in to whatever you use, garage band or whatever else that's out there, and it does act very well as a mini guitar. So when you purchase this guitar, you do have to kind of think about it that you're purchasing three guitars in one the way I look at it. You're purchasing a guitar that's going to teach you how to play guitar in the game of rock band, so it becomes a video game controller. You're purchasing an actual guitar that you can take and jack into an amplifier, um, when you play on the stage or anyplace else, and you're also purchasing a MIDI guitar uh, that you can jack into your computer or any other MIDI device, and those things can run in upwards of $2,000 plus if you do this right. Uh, very well crafted, uh, real Fender strap it gets sent to you, they also send it to you with a cord, uh, a MIDI cable for you to do it. Uh, response wise it is very very good I couldn't break the response timing on the guitar at all so whatever I saw on the screen and whenever I hit the note on the guitar it corresponded with what I was doing on screen if I slid my fingers up and down it picked all that up in real time works beautifully with the Mad Cat's MIDI adapter so let this be known just to clear up any speculation if you guys that don't have it has waiting on me to tell you what I think. You do have to have the MIDI controller. There is no way around that. It tells you that in all of the Fender literature and it tells you that directly on the box when you go to pick it up. You have to have that device for it to work in the, in the Rock Band 3 game. So with all that being said, that's all the good stuff, okay? Let's talk about what the price of this guitar is, and I'm going to kind of tell you what my beef a little bit is with the price and why I'm a little bit disappointed. The price of the guitar is $279.99 before taxes. So if you live where I live, which is in California, we almost have almost a 10% uh, tax bracket. We're over $300 for the guitar by itself. Now, that is not throwing in the extra $50 uh, component that you would need, which is the, um, uh, the Mac has MIDI, uh, MIDI adapter and the taxes on that. So you're paying taxes on the guitar and you're paying taxes on the MIDI controller. Here's what I'm going to tell you. And you guys know I don't mince words. I'm just going to tell you the honest truth. If this is something that you're going to use all the time, in my opinion, you got to justify this. Now, coming from being a father of five children, and I've been through this before 
where I want this, I want this, this is the new coolest thing, and then two months later it's sitting, by, it's sitting on the wayside. I think parents would be very upset if they go out and spend this kind of money for a tool to teach you, which is a very good tool, to teach you how to play guitar, and it just ends up collecting dust. A $300 or even a $400 investment is a lot of money. I really think that Fender missed the beat on this pricing. Let me tell you what I mean. I can go right now into Guitar Center, Guitar Center and get a Squire for about $179. That is without all the electronics and everything else. Just a straight Fender. I would think, since they are marketing this to gamers, that the price would have been not necessarily equal. Okay, I know you got to charge a little bit more because it's a real guitar and it's got a Fender name on it. But maybe just a little bit higher than what the Mad Cat's guitar was. So if Mad Cats was selling their guitar at $149.99, I was expecting Fender to come out and say, all right, we'll give it to you for like $179, even $180, $189. I think that's justifiable. The reason I say that is because you're not talking to people like me. You're not necessarily marketing this to a whole bunch of musicians. If you were, there's not a musician in the world that plays guitar that would not harp on this guitar if they want a MIDI one because they don't got to go spend two grand and they have a decent MIDI guitar. But the problem is, is 98% at least of the people that's looking to buy this guitar are people who don't play guitar, people who wants to learn how to play guitar, and they're trying to do it at the cheapest way possible so that their kid can learn or if you are the kid so you can learn. So when Rock Band came with Pro Mode, that was the idea, that was the time to jump into it, and then the price dampened it. I think that if Fender would have, or still does lower, the price point on this guitar, that it's going to sell better than what it is. I have no idea what the Fender sales are right now. I don't know if they're good, I don't know if they're bad. I'm just speculating that they can't be as good as they would be if the price was a little bit lower than what it is. Case in point, I have friends that was looking forward to this guitar. That's all they talked about. They wanted to go out and buy it. And then when it came out and they told them the price tag, those friends now don't own the Fender. Not at all, okay? They won't buy it. They say it's too expensive. They wanted to calm down. So Harmonix, Fender, if you guys are listening to me, I think that it would be worth it to examine dropping the price point on this guitar. To be honest, I don't even think asking $200 for it is too much. The, but the problem is, is understand that this guitar just does not jack into the Xbox 360 or the PS3 by itself. We still have to buy an extra component if we don't own it. Think about the people that's new to Rock Band who don't have either trying drum kits or anything else that they've been playing with since the inception of Rock Band has come out a few years ago. So, with that being said, that's the only thing about the Fender that I have issues with. That's the only thing that there's a problem with. Um, I can't give you any bad things about the guitar because it's excellent. So, if this is your market and you want to learn to play guitar and this is how you want to do it, by all means, go out there and pick up the Fender Squire if you have the means. Also, before I go on, I want to, forgot to say that yes, I did also in a review a long time ago say that I had read that by tilting the guitar to not go into overdrive mode, that is false. By tilting the guitar, it still does send you in to overdrive, okay? However, let me know what you guys think about the price point down here. You know, I can only say that because this is my profession, but it really, you the people is what shaped this industry and you the people is who Harmonix and Fender listens to. And you the people are the ones who actually has the greatest influence. The one thing I will give Harmonix is in the years that they have been doing, that they have released Rock Band and the people that I've talked to all the way from my PR rep with Stephanie all the way down to John Drake. These guys really care about you guys, the fans. And they really want to do what's right without breaking the bank. I understand this is the money making business, but sometimes less is more. All right, guys, so that's my review on the, on the Fender Squire. Again, because of the price, I'm gonna have to go down from four, from five stars, about four and a half, just because of the price. But 
Like again, I can't specify how much this is an excellent guitar. It feels good in the hand. And maybe soon when I can afford it, I hope to be able to go out and pick one up because I really would like to learn how to play guitar in this manner. You guys know how to reach me. Cena at Cena's Corner. My website, Cena, Cena's Corner.com. Twitter, Cena5401. I hope this has been helpful. Hope this has been enlightening. And I won't be away this long again. So until next time, guys, peace, love, keep rocking out. And we're going to catch you guys the next time.